Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are running some fascia boards. We are trimming out the outside of our deck to make it look nice. So follow along and see how we do. If you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Let's do a little recap though from the last time you guys were here and we'll show you how far we've gotten since then. Okay, so first thing, I think we were just framing the last time we filmed. So what we've done since then is we've actually ran this section of the framing out and we've put a couple posts in to hold up the outside of this landing, which is gonna house a set of stairs that are gonna come down into the yard. So we got all that done. We also put our waterproof bladder installed. We got that all installed. So basically this bladder is EPDM pond liner that's kind of in a dish. So it starts kind of snug at the house and then it slowly drains down to this uh, baffle system, which is gonna house a gutter so that there won't be any drips. But right now it's just dripping because we're waiting for the gutter company to come. So we have all the waterproof bladder system done for the entire deck. We've G-taped the tops of those. We put all the G-tape on the outside and then we've laid all the decking on top of the deck. And this time we used the Fasten Master Cortex hidden fastening system. We installed all the deck boards. We face screwed them all. And then we corked them all with the Cortex system. And then we cut all the end grains and we installed the transition strip right down the middle of the deck. And then we sanded all the edges. Now that the edges are sanded and filed off, now we're going through and we're adding our fascia and we're doing the fascia in a dark hickory color and the decking was done in Azek Coastline, which is a light gray and the dark hickory is a dark gray, almost black kind of color. That's a nice contrast to the deck. So that's where we're at right now and uh, we're just getting on to the fascia boards and then once the fascia boards are done, we're gonna start thinking about maybe cutting up our staircase and starting to frame it and install it. So right now, I'm just laying out fascia boards and it always looks nicer if you take the time to put everything on the correct spacing and you line up all your screws and then we're using color match screws. They're stainless steel, but they're color matched. They're put out by Azek and they go kind of with their branded colors of decking. So we don't have any rust and any issues. Stainless steel screws are good because they flex with heat movement. So they don't snap like uh, carbon screws will. So we like to use stainless steel when we're doing our trim work and when we're installing our deck boards and so on and so forth. I had to make a funky cut on the fascia over by this roof over here that kind of is part of the deck. So we are notching it to accommodate the slope of the roof. And we need to double check it before I put the screws, uh, lay out the screw holes in it, make sure it fits properly. So that's what we're doing right now. Why are we out here? Oh, uh, well, because the, the doctor's got an interview and uh, the guy's got a sensitive microphone, so even this noise is too loud, so we're out. Uh, we've been expelled to the trailer here, so we're going to do some stripping of boards and then uh, yeah, going to fix the uh, trailer and organize that a little bit and stop raining. So.
All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, click the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Also, like our videos and leave a comment below, and I'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.